हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मैथमेटिक्स डी वन फॉर क्लास सिक्स एंड सेवन स्टूडेंट्स बुक पेज नंबर टू सेवेंटी फाइव आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एट एंड नाइन वीडियोस यस्टरडे यू कैन वॉच देम इफ़ यू हैवन वॉच देम येट नाउ इट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इफ़ यू हैव द बुक अवेलेबल नियर बाई यू यू कैन ओपन द बुक पेज नंबर टू एंड यू कैन स्टॉप दिस वीडियो हेयर सो दैट यू कुड carefully look at the question what is the demand of the question what is this shape all about this is a <coughs> trapezium i'm sorry if it is not exactly matching with the book shape anyway what is the basic requirement of the question the basic requirement is to find x and y in a trapezium only two lines are parallel they have also told this information in the question that this line is parallel to this line Okay, let's start the question now. Uh, if they are parallel lines, that means the angle, this one angle and this one angle, the sum of these two angles, as I have already told you in some of my previous videos, that when two lines are parallel, then the angles which are just next to each other, uh, I mean this line, this line. dc and this line bc are parallel and this line ad is joining both of these two parallel lines so the angles which are just next to each other sum of both of these angles will be equal to 180 degrees that's mean 6x will be equal to 180 degrees and x will be equal to 180 divided by 6 which will be 6 3 times 18 and 6 0 times 0 so third x will be equal to 30 degrees in the same way if uh, uh, the two lines are parallel i mean ab parallel to dc that's mean 22 uh, 2.2x let me confirm from the book that it's 2.2 or 22 yes it's 2.2 so uh, you shouldn't confuse this question like the parallelogram and rhombus when the angles next to each other like this one and this one the sum of both of these is not equal to one because this ad is not parallel to bc only the lines uh, this horizontal lines are parallel so the angles formed uh, by by that line which is touching both of these two horizontal lines i mean ad is touching ad is passing through both of these two horizontal lines so that's why the sum of both of these two of angles which are just next to each other will be equal to 180 degrees moreover Uh, the sum of both of these two angles will also be equal to 180 degrees because now we are in the mission of finding y so y is only found here so y plus 2.2x equal to 180 degrees because both of these two lines were parallel ab and B, uh, dc ab and bc were parallel so a line which was passing through both of these two parallel lines was bc and that line was making angle y and 2.2 x degrees that's why the sum of both of these two will be equal to 180 degrees so let's put the value of x we just have found which is basically 30 degrees and equal to 180 degrees y plus uh, 30 times 2.2 Will be equal to how much? Thirty times two point two two zero times zero two three times six two zero times zero two three times six zero six zero. So it will be sixty. So sixty plus one eighty degrees. Oh, sorry, it's sixty six. So sixty six here. So y equal to one eighty degree minus sixty six degrees. One eighty minus sixty is one twenty, and further six. The six will be one fourteen degrees. So Y's answer is one fourteen. Okay, student. Thank you for watching. If you are first time visitor to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to note down this whole solution in your copy. Every time you come, must come with your copy and pen so that you could note down each and every information which I explain in my videos. And uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos yet, you can go back to question number eight, nine, and ten of the same exercise. If you have any problem, you can ask in the comments. Okay, Allah Hafiz.